dancer, a clothing salesman and single father, a firefighter, and a greenhouse laborer. Can they make the American Gladiators wilt? Gladiator action is spectacular, baby. Now let the games begin. Yeah. set once again, and the Gladiators are ready to defend their two. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Adamley, along with Lisa Belosky. Today, the last of our preliminary seating round matches. And Lisa, from a contender standpoint, the guy I want to watch the most to see if he's for real is our resident wild thing, Andy Camp. Yes, Mike. Andy Camp is our greenhouse laborer, and he is quite a character. But you can't let his light-hearted attitude fool you. He was great in our scrimmages and is happy to represent blue-collar workers everywhere. Our two female contenders possess excellent athletic credentials as well. But right now, let's get busy because it's time for men's power ball. And here are our male contenders. There's Andy and Sean Goodwin of Newport Beach, California. Sean, 28 years old, 6 feet tall, weighs 210 pounds, is a clothing salesman at Banana Republic. He'll battle 24-year-old Andy Camp, 5'10", weighs 180 pounds, as we said, a greenhouse laborer. I guess he stays in shape, pushing and hauling all those plants around, Mike. You'll need all that and more for the Gladiators, the trio of Turbo. Let's get it going. And Tower. It's my office. They're coming to work with me. I'm going to fire him real quick. We saw Andy juggle. Now can he jiggle his way through our three Gladiators? It'll be tough. 45 seconds the time limit. Score as many times as you can. The left foot. And he can with a quick move. Get barreled over by Turbo and Hawk and scores anyway. Disqualification. Forearm to the face. Turbo. To the face? So Turbo will go to the sidelines after delivering this shot on Andy Camp, which caused the disqualification. It looked fairly legal to me. And Andy didn't seem to have a problem with it whatsoever. 35 seconds left. Sean <laughs> had Tower beat there. Nice move. And he does the same thing to Hawk. Good moves by Sean Goodwin. <laughs> Great effort there by Hawk to stop him on that one, however. Camp with a sweet move. Tower. He wrapped Sean up good there. <laughs> Around the wing. Man starting to run out of gas, Tower and Hawk. I'll tell you what, those two men did an excellent job playing two on two. That's how it's done. Got to put some punishment. Way to pick it up. Woo. Don't try this at home. Hey, Andy, you took quite a shot there from Turbo, but you kept on kicking. Well, if you did anything, you made me prettier, don't you think? Oh, I think so, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great match. Thanks, appreciate it. Had a lot of fun. Come on out next time. Thanks, Andy. Andy Camp with a strange idea of fun. It's amazing that he even got up from this shot from Turbo. Four years, I don't know, countless a number of games. Never in my life have I even had a significant warning. The contestant, he, you know, he came right up to me, says, I thought it was a clean shot. Felt good to me. I thought it was down low in the chest. Larry's an excellent referee. He says I was high. It's my bad, uh, my fault. Women are up next, Jennifer Tantum of Cranberry, New Jersey, and Kathleen Scarvers of North Hollywood, California. Hey guys, here I come to get ya. Jennifer Tantum, only 5'3", 120 pounds, but she is very strong and very quick. Our stripper from New Jersey. 
and she'll battle Kathleen Starver, 28 years old, 5'8", 140 pounds, a firefighter in North Hollywood, California. Take them all down, no point. In the dirt! Hitting the ground hard. No idle lip service on the part of the Gladiators. They mean business. We're set to go. Kathleen Scarver is trying for that center cylinder. Sky hauls her down. Siren does the same to Jennifer. Good move there as Kathleen reached out and reached out and over Siren to score. 30 seconds remain. Jennifer Tantum looking to score. That one bounces off the outside cylinder. Ice, Siren, and Sky laying down the wall. 15 out. seconds left. Ice with a nice block there, Mike. No, let her up. And 45 seconds is an eternity if you're not used to playing this kind of event. And of course, none of our contenders are. Yes. Quite a baptism of fire. Great job by the Gladiators. So after Powerball, Kathleen Starvers, two points, Jennifer Tantum, shut out. Ice, you can always tell how you're gonna do in this game before it even starts, because I look in Sky's eyes, I look in Siren's eyes, and I look in your eyes, and I know the contenders are in trouble. We had fire in our eyes today, Mike. This was the best played Powerball game that I've seen in a long time. Since I played middle this time, when, the, when I don't have to move, that's an awesome job on these girls' parts. They did fabulous. Not bad having Siren and Sky for teammates. I love it. Thank you, yeah, of that power. Watch Siren take out Jennifer Tantum. Down she goes. And now the contenders will move directly from one frying pan into another, the cauldron of whiplash. There's the double triangle that we have come to call the dog bone. And the operative phrase in this event, own the bone. That's what our contenders will try to do. They'll try to wrest that dog bone, that double triangle, away from the gladiators or use it to pull the gladiator outside this 20-foot ring. Sean Goodwin up first. He trails by one point to Andy Camp after Powerball. They'll try to get 10 here against Laser. Sean was a wrestling star, Mike, at Eisenhower High School in Rialto, California. And although this isn't exactly wrestling, they can use some of the same moves. Crowd chanting on the bowl. Yeah. Both combatants have a legal grip. Sh oh, look at that. Laser using pure power. He owns the bone. Ripped it right out of Sean's hand. I think Sean was a little surprised. And look who's getting this all on tape. Sean's five-year-old son, Charlie. Andy Camp now up. Our greenhouse laborer. You can see the just the veins popping in Laser's yeah. forearms, the kind of pressure and torque that's put on the arms in this event. Andy Camp. You can see why we call it whiplash a little bit. Contenders and Ooh. wicked move there by Laser to rest that double triangle, that dog <laughs> bone away from Andy and get a big hug. It gives our contender. Laser showing us why he is so good in this whiplash ring. Andy Camp doing his best, but Laser owns the bone. Jennifer Tantum will lead things off for the women in Whiplash. She currently trails Kathleen Scarvers to zip. She draws Siren. Jennifer giving a lot away to Siren in terms of size and strength. Grip is everything, and so is response to the referee's whistle. And in the case of Siren, our hearing impaired gladiator, she must look directly at our referee to get her cue to go. Siren, a wild woman up there. 20 seconds to go. Look at Jennifer. <laughs> Get mad at that face. dog bone. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed with Jennifer Tanton, though. Well, Jennifer hung in there, but Siren is the story. She was on fire. Look at that power. Very impressive. 
Relentless is another word that comes to mind. She will not give up until she pulls that double triangle away. All right, Kathleen Scarver's now up. What can she do with Cyrus? Yeah. 30 seconds the time limit. Kathleen using leverage and trying to change directions to throw Siren off. Kathleen's got a strong right arm, Mike. She's a racquetball and tennis player. She is getting jerked around and whiplashed around <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. Siren holding her ground. Nobody's gonna take that thing away from her. Or try as she might, Kathleen Scarvers couldn't do it. And Siren holds up her end of the bargain for her gladiator teammates, shutting down both Jennifer and Kathleen. And if you don't think this event takes all out maximum effort, watch Kathleen's face. She is pulling with all her might, but Siren isn't going anywhere. She is rooted in cement. Kathleen, I want to know what that was like up there. Well, it was a lot of fun, a lot of torture. I need to do a little more torturing. But the gladiators are still going to be history later on. Siren, this event is not all about power. Some te technique involved? Absolutely. It's not about power. It's about your controlling your body, staying on your feet, and jerking it around. <laughs> you get that look of determination on your face. Nobody's going to take that thing away from you. Siren, way to go. some serious hang time, some serious air time, and sky track at lane one, it'll be Kathleen Scarvers. Lane two, our gladiator zap. And in lane three, Jennifer Tantum. And here's a look at what they all face. There is our Velcro track. They start at one end, make their way down to the other, hit the sensor button, and come all the way back. If you win, you get 10 points. Our second place contender gets five. Here we go. Zap, quick out of the gate, in lane two. Kathleen Scarbers negotiates the turn well in lane one, but gets hung up a bit. Zap, setting the pace. She is the first to reach the turnaround. It looks like Zap will win this race easily, but remember, the first contender across will get five points. Jennifer has certainly made up some time here, Mike. Kathleen is tiring out, but she's got the inside curve. Here it is, the final straightaway for both our female contenders. Zap wins it. And Jennifer Tantum finishes second to pick up five points. Zap, if anybody had a perfect temperament and talent for this event, it's you. You're terrific in sky train. I was a little nervous this time because these girls, they are fast this year. So I really just had to concentrate and just do it perfectly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Does it make it easier when all these people are pulling for you? These fans. Change, change it around. Got to have the fans. Salute your public. Go ahead. the male contenders, Andy Camp, Sean Goodwin, Camp on top 5-4, Goodwin in lane one, our gladiator, Saber in lane two, and in lane three, Andy Camp. They're set to go. All three men get off to a quick start. Look at Andy pump, look at Sean pump. Andy, our greenhouse laborer, he's a scrappy guy, Mike. Right now, it's between him and Sabre. He's got great form, hands and feet really working it well. And he reaches the turnaround point first. If he can beat Sabre, it's worth 10 points. Sean now coming on strong. Here they come, the final turn and down the straightaway. It's Camp, Sabre, and Goodwin. And Andy Camp wins it. Saber finishes second. So Andy gets 10 points and Sean comes up empty. And with the 10, Andy takes a 15-4 lead over Sean after three events. 
All of our contenders are trying to amass as many points as they can here in the prelims. After this, they will be seated one through eight when our elimination round begins. Their ultimate goal, of course, to go on to the Grand Championship and perhaps win the Gladiator Crystal. We're set for swing shot here at Gladiator Arena, event number four in this prelim between Andy Camp and Sean Goodwin. There's the lowdown after three events. A look at Andy, who's ready to go. He will try to spring from his tower and approach that center cylinder. On that center cylinder, a chance to score points. Red balls were three, blue two, yellows one. They must put them back in their bins at their tower. Saber and Hawk will do the honors for the Gladiators. Here we go. Andy sky and high, Hawk right there. What a dynamic move by Sean Goodwin. He plucked off not one, but two red balls. Both were three points and split Saber and Hawk to do it. He Andy missed. grabbed two. Sean missed jump the last time. Mike, he hit the floor, actually. Well, look at him, Sky. Gets another blue. These contenders getting some serious hang time and air time. Wow. Great oh. job by Saber there. Defense, baby. All four men jump at the same time. Saber pushing Sean away. Hawk doing a nice job oh. And oh. on Andy. And that's out of Tarzan screen. 10 seconds to go. Oh, Andy almost got the red. Sean again, Zorn high, and Saber right there again. Saber getting very good at these air games. Hey, one of the better swing shot events I've seen, Lisa. For all those people out there who think this is so easy, tell them how tough it really is. You cannot believe how tough it is. When you got these big gorillas out here after you, like, they want to kill you. They're good guys, but they can hurt you, and it's a lot tougher than it looks. A lot of fun to watch. Thanks, Sean. Well, Sean stayed out of harm's way long enough to make this dynamic move, grabbing not one, but two reds for a total of six points. Sean and Andy put on a swing shot clinic, and Kathleen Scarvers and Jennifer Tantum do the same. Gladiators, I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> for our gladiators on their bungee towers, it is Sky and Sap. Again, red balls attached to that center cylinder with three blue ones, two yellows, one. But you gotta put them back in your scoring bins. Kathleen Scarvers, with Sky draped all over her, grabbed two yellows, and can she put them back? Uh-huh, yeah. Great first attempt. Look at Jennifer go high. Kathleen did it again, Mike. The squirrel and the acorn technique, too. <laughs> Zap on top of Jennifer, she's undone it though, grabs a blue ball. Kathleen grabs two. These gals are getting the timing just right, it's beautiful. It is beautiful to watch. Look at Jennifer, she is a wild thing up there. Oh, nice. So is Kathleen. Nice This move. is great. Oh, upside down, she's still holding on. 15 seconds to go. Again, Jennifer does it. Kathleen trying to sky, just missed the yellow one. They're very hard to defense, Mike, I'll tell you that. Wow. Wow is right. What a contest. Let's take a look at the scores. Jennifer comes through with seven, Kathleen eight. Jennifer on top now, 12 to 10. Jennifer, you look like you were born to bungee. Yeah, I tell you, I love jumping around, acting like a fool in front of the whole world. You haven't had that much time to practice it, yet you would grab those things, put them in your mouth, and get right back up here. I figure once they get in my mouth, they're not gonna be lost. So that way, it's way to bring them back up. Any way you can do it. Okay, nice job. Excellent. Jennifer Tantum, super in swing shot. I'm a full-time stripper. Um, my job is I work in bars, and I dance for the crowd, whether it's men or men and women. Mostly, most of the time, it's just men. It's a very interesting job. Not everybody can relate to it. Not everybody accepts it, but it's what I do, and I enjoy it. Contenders and gladiators take aim. It's time for assault. Event number five here in this preliminary round match. Our women will start things off. A look at one of our new gladiators this season, the mighty Jazz. She'll arm the cannon for the gladiators. Our contender's mission, of course, to hit the target located above our gladiator. Jennifer grew 
grew up on a horse farm and has done all kinds of western speed racing, including barrel racing. Let's see if she can get around these. Let's see if she's an all-around cowgirl here. Let's see if her marksmanship matches. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. I think so. Top of the up. Boy, that looked good. Yeah, it sure did. Sure did look good. She's got 30 seconds. Well, Jazz hits her between stations two and three. The crowd not happy, however. They thought like we did, Lisa, that Jennifer hit the target at station number one. Well, here is Jennifer at station number one with the crossbow. She thinks she has it. Let's take another close look at the target. There you see it again. It does look good. There's Larry Thompson in the lower left hand of your screen, taking another look at it on the video screen. And one more time, looks good. <laughs> well, thumbs up. You did it. Yes, yes, yes. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? Well, actually, I have a bunch of buddies that are state troopers at Dublin. Guys, you taught me how to shoot, and I won! Yes! You got 10 points, and you did it in a big way. Yes! All your rooting section is over there, so go salute them, Jennifer. Nice shoot. <laughs> well, she's going to stay on cloud nine for a little longer. She's got to be pumped up. Kathleen Scarborough is now on deck. My Kathleen has an interesting ultimate fantasy. She said she would like to be on a deserted island with Chuck Woolery. Maybe she's picturing him at the end of the line here. <laughs> <coughs> she's probably going to feel like she's on a deserted island here. Oh, Not a bad shot. I'll tell you, this crowd here at Gladiator Arena is really wild. And that's got to pump Kathleen up. You hear it go, 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 go. Trying to stay out of harm's way. Jazz doing an amazing job of not letting Kathleen breathe. That shot hits the shield in front of Jazz. Well, they've got reason to cheer, Mike. They're seeing some great action. 20 seconds. Oh. That one just missed. Final chance for points here at the last scoring station. Let's see what kind of arm Kathleen has. I think Jazz is just about out of 10 balls. seconds. One more chance. She's got a hustle. She wants to pick up that bonus point. She gets up and runs for it and picks up the extra point, a total of six. Kathleen Scarver stays in the hunt with Jennifer Tantum, trailing now only 22-16. One more look at the shot from station number four. Just misses. To the men we go, and Lazer's well armed. What do you think of that, baby? Who we got? Who you have, Lazer's Andy Camp, who leaves 2012 after four events. You make the call. You think there's been a shootout to OK Corral? Wait till I get done with it. Lazer, Andy, let the shootout begin. He's on his way. His shot from station one, high and above the target, but he's got the right idea. He's quick, Mike. 40 seconds. Nice one. Plenty of time, now 30 seconds. Ooh. Oh, that one just, wow. just high above the target. And yeah. Laser, I told you he was a dead eye. Oh. <laughs> With the assault cannon. And he can't get, pick up four points for firing four weapons. But Laser picked That's how it's him done. Off. That's how it's done here in Montana, baby. Laser red hot today. There's a look at it right on top of the back. And now Sean Goodwin with a chance to close the gap here on Andy. If he can pick up 10, Laser won't make it easy. Sean, the salesman for Banana Republic, also likes to spend his time surfing. Sean Goodwin on his way. You can bet Laser will lay down a steady barrage. 
Oh, man, just underneath the target. He's taking and that his shot time. Awfully close. He is lining that up. Oh, wow. Lasers thought he had him. Our game judge, Jim Arcioni, said it deflected off the floor. That, of course, does not count. Sean gets this shot off at station. Three, 20 seconds to go. That one wide to the left, right altitude, though. 15 seconds. Sean doing a great job of keeping his eye on laser. That second one was the charm. He did it. Seven seconds left on the clock. Shot him two times and didn't even see it. That was a great effort by Sean Goodwin. Sean Goodwin, our California surfer dude. He lists his hometown as all over California. This guy loves to surf and has an interesting philosophy on life. My motto is, as I live and learn, dig and be dug in return. It's time to tug here at Gladiator Arena. Sean Goodwin and Andy Camp locked in a real struggle here in their preliminary round match. Thanks, partner. Andy up first. Here we go. All the power I got. And the tug of war brought to you by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The best play here. Ten points for Andy if he can pull Saber off. You notice that the you platforms bet. are canted to give the contender an advantage. But once the Gladiator can get that thing canted in his direction and get a little leverage, he's got a chance. It's been all Saber so far. He Andy. The, he got the first jump like it. Whoa, it's over. Quick draw. And here's what it looks like from our contender's perspective. Saber you notice that? <laughs> I did. I did. He's pretty tough. He's a tough old dude. He's got some dig. I give him that much. Ain't got much hair, but he's got a lot of dig. <laughs> Thank you. And he Saber's got some serious dig, and he's coming back to get you. But right now, he's got to deal with Sean Goodwin. Boy, Sean just yeah. took right over. Again, whoever gets the draw usually gets the victory. Sean had it there. Ten points. Puts him in the lead now. 32-24 after six events. Just how serious is this guy? Take a close look. He is intense. He wants it bad. Tug time for Tantum. Jennifer Tantum, that is. Women set to pull their weight in the tug of war. Jennifer draws. Ice, ice, baby. Jennifer with a 22-16 lead over Kathleen Scarbers after five events. Remember, this is the preliminary seeding round. Both our contenders are shooting for as many points as they can to possibly get that number one seed once the elimination round begins in two weeks from now. We've said how deceptive Jennifer is, her strength, that is. But right now, the rope belongs to Ice. Jennifer desperately trying to hang on. If they lose that knot, it's just about over. Yeah! So Ice reigns supreme. She got the draw on Jennifer, and that was it. But Ice, you got to tug one more time. Kathleen Scott now with a chance to pick up 10 and take the lead, and she can pull Ice off. And pulling for Kathleen, there's her mom, Patricia. Kathleen says her mother is her hero because she raised three children alone. Had a lot of inner strength. We'll see if Kathleen has the outer strength in this event. Kathleen got the draw. Ice trying to run that tug of war platform to her advantage, but she's holding on to one hand. Kathleen Scarvers has got a mean pull going on here, and Ice in trouble, and Kathleen has picked up 10. Oh, baby. Try as she might, Ice finally had to give up the fight. A big 10 points for Kathleen Scarvers and four. Patricia, her mom, who was in the audience, there was never a doubt. 
Kathleen, you are so impressive. Your mother <laughs> apparently is crying in the stands right is she now. Really? Is she really? Oh, someone get her a Kleenex. <laughs> you are making her proud today. That's great. It's so fun to be here. I'm having a great time. Thanks. You were very impressive. Thank you. Well, having a good time, Lisa, is just part of what Kathleen Scarvers is all about. Here's her 15 seconds of fame. You know, she also likes to work in the service of others, whether it's as a firefighter in North Hollywood or as a clown performing at children's hospitals. One thing's for sure, she knows how to stay loose. This season on the Gladiators, our women will start things off. Jennifer Tantum trailing Kathleen Scarvers by four points. Kathleen up first. If she can get through in less than 25 seconds, it's worth five points. In less than 20 seconds, it's worth 10. Sky, Jazz, Siren, Zap, and Ice are ready. Come on, big girl. Come on. Kathleen had only two points after the first three events, but she has come on strong. Let's see what she can do here. She's by Sky and Jazz, now Siren dealing with her. Wow. Zap shot. gives her a shot. <laughs> About seven seconds left. Still has a chance for five points if she can get by Ice. Yeah. Wow, nice job. She did it and adds another five points to her total. Take one more look at it. Zap giving her a nice shot. Kathleen keeps moving. Goes back the same way. Can't quite get there. Come on, big girl. Let's see some moves. You got it? I think Jennifer's got it. Although Sky probably has about 50 pounds on her. Doing it for the home folks back in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. She is having a dickens of a time getting by Sky, however. Sky with that giant wingspan. Wow. Great defense. All right. And she's just jumped from the frying pan into the fire because Jazz is giving her a good work over. A battering round. Wow. That is it. Time expires. Jennifer Tantum doesn't even make it to the final two gladiators. So good work by our female quintet down in the gauntlet. Well, Jennifer certainly had her hands full. Jazz was relentless. She simply pummeled Jennifer here. She could not get by. Pummel, certainly the operative word here in the gauntlet. All right, the men set to go. And just eight points separate Sean and Andy. Sean up first. We'll go all the way. I don't care who gets in my way. They're out of there. I'm going all the way. Sean Goodwin from Newport Beach, California. The quintessential surfing dude. His motto to dig and be dug in return. Well, Sean, you might want to change your motto to crunch and be crunched in return. Saber, Tower, Turbo, Hawk, and Laser are laying in wait here on the gauntlet. Sean Goodwin being ridden hard by Tower. Now Turbo's trying to throw him out of the gauntlet. He's staying on his feet though, Mike. This guy is tough. He's shooting to get in. Wow. Finishing oh, over 25. Oh in under 25 seconds, he's done it. He picks up five points. <laughs> they have paid the price in the process. Sean will be seeing gladiators in his sleep tonight. First turbo tries to take him out as in out of the gauntlet. <laughs> Unbelievable. Next up, Laser takes a shot. He leapfrogs over him for five points. All right, Andy, your chance to shine. 
The kid who says I'm nothing special, just a working class guy who wants to represent all the other 50 hour weekers. Now's your chance, wild thing. <laughs> Gets by Saber and Tower. Now he's trying to deal with Turbo. Hawk riding him pretty good. Six seconds. Can he cross that finish line? No, he can't. The Gladiators, look at him go. They are jubilant. Teamwork. And Andy Camp knew he was in trouble right from the get-go when Saber Nail him up against the side wall of the gauntlet, nearly took his head off. Unbelievable. What a trip. Yes! This Andy is quite a trip himself. You have to name the yellow pansies. And I have named the yellow pansies. We have Turbo, Tower, <laughs> Saber, and laser. And here we have nitro. Oh. Getting hit by me is like... Getting hit with a serious problem. My favorite actor is... Mel Gibson. Three things I would bring to a deserted island are... My jet ski, my horse, and my best friend. I am like the name Ice because... I'm cool. I'm hard. Yet when you hold me in your hand, I slip right out. Positions for next week's elimination round hang in the balance, and we are set for the eliminator. The exotic dancer and the firefighter about to start things off. Right now, Kathleen Scarvers has a nine-point lead. Good for a four-and-a-half second head start according to our eliminator scoring format. But Jennifer Tantum has a go-for-it attitude. Can she do it again? Let's find out. Lisa's with her at the start line. Lisa? Jennifer, you had one of our fastest times during the practice rounds. I want to know if you can do it again. Yeah, we're going to go for it all the way. You don't give up now, I'll tell you. This is it. Good luck. Jennifer and the Eliminator practice sessions turn in a very fine time of one minute and 30 seconds. Hi. How are you, TV folks and TV land? I'm getting ready to have some fun. Kathleen, you've been having a good time all day. There's Siren and Zap, our penalty enforcers. And the Eliminator is brought to you by M&M's Chocolate Candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. And the blaze that Kathleen Scarvers has to put out here, our firefighter, is the comfort behind ability of Jennifer Tantum. She turned in one of the faster times in the practice eliminator, a minute and 30 seconds. She can come from behind. Kathleen struggling on the Versa climber, but so is Jennifer. This is quite a workout here. I know firsthand, Mike, it is brutal. Kathleen, though, looking good. Has come on strong in the last four events. Will her stamina hold out here? She makes it across, but barely on the handbike. Boy, they are tired, Mike. Kathleen, another nemesis out of the way. The cylinder. Very smooth and fluid on the cargo net. Jennifer struggling to catch up. They are running on pure guts right now, Mike. Kathleen now on the zip line, gathering herself. She knows what lies ahead. That, of course, the treadmill. Here comes Jennifer. They're side by side over the wall. Who's it. got the stamina? Who can do it? Look at oh, Kathleen! Baby. Look at Kathleen! I don't think she made it up the treadmill. I know she didn't make it up the treadmill during practice. And she did it today when it counted most. Wow. 
137 for Kathleen Scarvers. Kathleen, what an inspirational performance. I know that there are some firefighters in North Hollywood who are very proud of you. What would you like to say to those guys and gals? I'll come back to work still in one piece. <laughs> and Kathleen, your mates at that fire department better throw you a big party because you have earned it. Siren and Zap give her a big hug. Jennifer finished in a time of one minute and 38 seconds. Job well done by both of our women. In the men's division, Andy Camp and Sean Goodwin have waved to spirited battle. It is the surfer salesman from Newport Beach, California, Sean, who has the six and a half second head start because of his 13 point lead. But Andy's motto, carpe diem, seize the day. Can he? Willie, let's find out with Lisa. Andy, you say you represent Blue Collar Land. What do you have to say to all those blue collar workers out there right now? Get off your fat ducks and yell loud, man! Loud, I gotta hear you! I really gotta hear you! He's got six and a half seconds! I really gotta hear you! Save your energy, save your energy! Boy, I think that was good advice, <laughs> Lisa. He has been wild all afternoon. There's Turbo and Laser hamming it up a bit. Sean, no doubt, this performance for his five-year-old son, Charlie, who is here today and rooting his dad on. Here comes Andy Camp, our greenhouse laborer, the common man, the blue-collar worker. Sean, so dynamic, so powerful, he smokes the handbike. Now across that cylinder, that's no problem. Here comes Camp. Andy, Sean's equal on the handbike and the cylinder. He's making He's up for fun. Yes, he is. The zip line, the only reprieve our contender gets during this eliminator. Sean Goodwin looking mighty strong from Newport Beach, California. A salesman at Banana Republic. Oh, baby. They're gonna buy him a whole new wardrobe. He lands on his back, goes feet first through the barrier in a time of one minute even, and that was sensational. Andy's time, just one second slower. He'll be a force to be reckoned with once the elimination round begins. What a performance. Did you ever have any doubt Honestly? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, crazy. A lot of fun, very difficult, a lot of luck factors, injury things, anything could happen in this event here. But I just gave it my best, went all out, and hope for the best. Thanks, Thank John. You. Andy Camp, he turned in a time of one minute and one second. Quite a race. Well, coming up next week, our elimination oh, round begins. The competition will really heat up. Until then, for Lisa Malosky and all of us here at Gladiator Arena, I'm Mike Bentley. Thanks for joining us on AG.